Hey guys, it is Thursday the 4th of January and it is cold and snowy and blustery outside. It's time to make soup, but for me it's always time to make soup. I would say soup is probably my favorite food, not a particular soup, but just all kinds of soup. And I just go to my refrigerator and pantry and find what's available and then start building from there. So here I've got uh, most of the uh, turkey carcass from Christmas. I've got some garlic, carrot, onion, celery, some dried parsley flakes. And these are like the base uh, seasonings that I use in almost any soup that I make. Onion powder, whoops, excuse me, garlic powder. Now for this I'm going to be adding some poultry seasoning. Salt, not too much. I'm going to taste the broth as it develops because we brine this turkey and so I don't want the broth to get too salty. And then some uh, pepper and I will be adding rice. So I'm going to start by cleaning up, uh, cleaning the vegetables and just getting everything into the pot. I just wanted to say one more thing. This is a gallon pot and you might think that with this many bones I would use a larger pot but actually I want the flavor to be concentrated and the bigger a pot you have the more likelihood there is of your broth being kind of flat and tasteless. So, um, okay, here we go. Okay, so what I have in the pot um, are the turkey parts, some nice leafy celery, uh, the rib and the, and the leaves, some garlic clove. I just started putting in a little bit of black pepper. Here's some onion. So, let's just kind of continue with the seasoning, okay? There, I hope you can see. Okay, a little bit more black pepper. As much as you like. Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to reserve the salt until I can taste the broth. And now I've got this, it's probably a quarter teaspoon uh, measure. And I'm starting off with garlic powder. A nice generous teaspoon of garlic powder. The same with onion powder. And you think, well, I already put onion in there. Why should I put um, onion powder in? But I don't know. It just it just works. Here I've got um, poultry seasoning. I'm going to put a generous teaspoon of poultry seasoning in. How much liquid? Okay, well, I only want enough to kind of come to the surface. Uh, a little bit of the uh, the vegetables and turkey bone are still going to be showing. Again, if you put too much water in, I don't care what seasonings you put in, you're going to have a tasteless kind of a flat broth. So I've got a quart of cold water here, just tap water. Let's see how far that takes us, okay? I think that's just about right for here. Pardon me while I grab a spoon here. Yeah, because once this comes to a boil, everything, see? One quart of water, it just kind of everything is, uh, you know, the water's touching everything, and as it cooks, of course, it'll kind of, you know, go down a little bit more. So I'm going to turn it to seven on my stove, bring it to a boil, and then lower it to a simmer. Just let it go. It's going to be at least an hour, if not more. Our soup has come to a boil, and now I'm just going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for 45 minutes to an hour. I want the meat to fall off the bones. I want to extract all the flavor that I can from the vegetables. And um, for singles, when we cook, we kind of have to go against the grain of advice that we hear all the time, you know, about if you're going to cook soup or if you're going to make a casserole and that, you know, make a lot. Well, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but after the second serving, I get tired of stuff. And yeah, I use my freezer a lot. I'll put leftovers away and then eat them for another time. But you know what? For us, it really makes sense just to make enough for a, a couple of meals. It, we won't get tired of what we're eating and then stick it in the freezer and then maybe just forget about it and end up throwing away in in the end anyhow so okay this is going to cook for a while and I'll bring you back later okay okay it's time to remove the bones and everything from the pot If 
got some nice broth in there. There we go. I'll just let this cool and pick the meat off. But in the meantime, I'm going to add about a third of a cup of rice and just a little bit of sliced carrots, more for color than anything. I don't like uh, too much carrots in a soup. It has a tendency to take over. I'm stir that together. And I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. You can dry parsley in your oven, you know that, don't you? You can just put it on a parchment lined cookie sheet, turn your oven on for a minute, and then turn your oven off, leave the door shut, and it will dry beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to let this simmer, let the rice cook, and then I'm going to debone the, uh, the uh, I'm sorry, remove the meat from the turkey bones. Okay guys, the soup is done and ready to eat, so let's try some.